Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. This is a case of creation of a posterior capsulorexis to remove a posterior capsular plaque. At this point in the procedure, there's a posterior capsular plaque that cannot be removed despite aggressive uh, manipulation using the silicone tip irrigation and aspiration tip. We use a cystotome and you can see there's a reflection in the posterior capsule showing that the plaque is fairly fibrous. We start our initial hole inside the middle of the plaque and find that the plaque cannot be torn, therefore we elect to use micro scissors and then a pair of utrata forceps. When we try and create the tear for the posterior capsular axis, we're tearing within the fibrous plaque initially and find that to be a challenge. Therefore, we elect to go peripheral to the plaque using a cystotome to widen the posterior capsular axis. We then rotate our orientation in order to get a better, more advantageous approach. We fill the eye with Helon GV, anterior and posterior to the posterior capsular axis, and then we continue the posterior capsulotomy with the utrata forceps. We're able to successfully remove the plaque and preserve a circular posterior continuous curvilinear capsular axis. We then insert a symphony lens implant into the bag. We use a cannula to remove small remnants of the plaque that remained behind the implant. The lens centers perfectly. The posterior capsular axis remains intact and we inject Triamcinolone, moxifloxacin, and vancomycin made by Imprimis Pharmaceuticals into the vitreous through a transonular approach. This patient did beautifully, the lens centered perfectly, and she saw 2020 the next day without glasses. Thank you for your time and attention.